Ragamuffin Cat vs. Siberian Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? Ragamuffin's breed standard describes him as a cuddly feline teddy bear. He is characterized by his large size, large walnut-shaped eyes that can be any color, sweet expression, and variety of colors and patterns. One of the interesting facts about the breed is that kittens are born white, then develop their color or pattern as they mature. Some of the differences between the ragamuffin and the ragdoll are seen in the face. For instance, the ragamuffin has full cheeks and the eyes are walnut-shaped rather than oval. Ragamuffin has a broad, modified wedge-shaped head with a rounded appearance. It's supported by a short, heavy, strong neck that is especially apparent in males. Mature males are known for their jowls, giving them something of the look of a crusty old brigadier general. The broad-chested body is muscular and heavy, often with a pad of fat on the lower abdomen. A long, fully furred tail looks as if it would make a nice, soft bottle brush. Medium to medium long fur is rabbit soft, dense and silky. It's slightly longer around the neck, on the sides and belly, and on the hind legs. The paws and ears are furnished with tufts of fur as well. The coat comes in every color and pattern. This is a large cat, and they mature slowly, not reaching their full size until they are four years old. Siberian is notable for having a long triple coat with guard hairs, on hairs, and a downy undercoat. He has an abundant ruff around the neck, thick but slightly shorter hair on the shoulder blades and lower part of the chest, and thick fur on the belly and breeches. The undercoat thickens in cold weather. The coat comes in all colors and combinations of colors, with or without white. He looks powerful and alert but gazes out at the world with a sweet expression. His head is a modified wedge with rounded contours, broad at the top and narrowing slightly at the muzzle. Medium large ears are well furnished with tufts of fur. The nearly round eyes can be green, gold, green gold, or copper. White Siberians or Siberians with white patches may have blue or odd eyes. This is a medium size to a large cat weighing 8 to 17 pounds and sometimes more. It can take the Siberian up to 5 years to reach his full size and coat. His body is muscular and he has big round paws with tufts of fur and a thickly furred tail. Ragamuffin is a huggable lug who wants nothing more than to follow his people around and sit in a lap whenever possible. A nice combination of sweet and smart, he is often described as a puppy-like for his friendly personality and willingness to play fetch, learn tricks and walk on a leash. He greets visitors warmly and would meet you at the door with a martini if only he had opposable thumbs. Ragamuffin is known for its docile nature. He loves to be held like a baby and will completely relax in your arms. Ragamuffins like to play but are good about limiting their attention to their toys and scratching posts, not your furniture. It is rare to non-existent for them to lay a claw on a person. This is a mellow cat but one who craves attention. Don't get a ragamuffin if you will have to leave him alone for many hours every day. Siberian's heart is as warm as his homeland is cold. He loves people and wants to be near them, so expect this affectionate cat to follow you around, including to the bathroom, and to help you with all of your reading, TV viewing, computer work, and meal prep. Sitting in your lap while you comb his fur may well be the highlight of his day. When you come home from work, he might not have a martini waiting, but he will be pleased to tell you all about his day in quiet, pleasant trills and chirps, interspersed with a few meows and purrs. Guests will find him to be a genial host, this is not typically a cat who is shy in the presence of strangers. Besides being loving and attentive, the Siberian is also active and playful. He will instigate games of fetch by bringing you a favorite toy to throw. Any item can become a plaything for this clever cat, so keep jewelry or other potentially intriguing items out of his sight. Teaching him tricks is a fun and easy way to challenge his agile brain. Because of his heritage as a forest dweller, he likes playing with water, perhaps it's a genetic memory of going fishing for his supper. Don't be surprised if he enjoys splashing you in the tub, drinking from a fountain or faucet, or making puddles by batting his paw in his water dish. As befits a working and hunting cat, He's highly athletic and you may find him balancing atop a doorway or propelling himself to the highest point in the room. In fact, Siberian coaches may well be the secret to the success of Russian gymnasts. Activity and noise won't bother him a bit. His calm nature gives him the potential to be a therapy cat. If nothing else, he will be happy to snuggle with you when you're down with a cold or other illness. And although he loves attention, he's not needy and will wait patiently until you have time to devote to him. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Ragamuffin's soft coat is long, but its texture is tangle resistant. Weekly brushing or combing is all that's needed to remove dead hairs and keep them looking beautiful. 
Ragamuffin has a fearless personality, so it's never a good idea to let him go outside. He has no notion that other people or animals might mean him harm and is not street smart in the least. Siberian's thick triple coat should be combed or brushed a couple of times a week to prevent tangles or mats. The coat will shed seasonally in the spring and fall, and you may need to groom more frequently during that time. A bath is rarely necessary, which is a good thing because the coat is highly water resistant. It can be difficult to get a Siberian wet enough to shampoo him. Most of the Siberian's growth occurs in his first year and a half of life. Your kitten's breeder may recommend that you feed him kitten food during that time to make sure he gets enough nourishment. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will also help to keep the long coat clean. It's a good idea to keep Ragamuffin and Siberian as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Ragamuffin and Siberians who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. If possible, build your Siberian a large outdoor enclosure where he can jump and climb safely. The calm and even-tempered Ragamuffin is an ideal family cat. He doesn't mind being held or carried around by a child or dressed up and pushed in a baby buggy. He is playful and smart, one of those cats who enjoys playing fetch and learning tricks, and his energy level means he won't wear out before the child does. The Siberian has a bold temperament, and nothing much ruffles his composure. These characteristics make him an excellent choice for a family with kids. Always teach children how to hold the cat properly, supporting both the hind end and the front end, and have little children pet him while they are sitting on the floor or on a sofa so they can be on the same level as the cat without trying to hold him. After all, he may weigh more than they do. They are also friendly toward other pets, including dogs, other cats, birds, rodents, and lizards. Nonetheless, it's always a good idea to introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.